So AXS or Access, whatever it's called, and HDNet Movies is now free and in the clear on AMC 11 at 131 West C-Band. So you'll need one of these large C-Band satellite dishes. I'm able to get it with an 8-footer, which is great. And uh, so it has uh, become a, a new channel that's been there. I know it has been on free to air before, but uh, on 127, but I wasn't able to pick it up on my dish. But now it's moved to a different satellite and it's coming in pretty good there. So on AMC 11, at 131 West, it does have several uh, encrypted channels, a lot of cable backhauls and stuff like that. So all that stuff's encrypted, but there is a couple channels there that are in the clear. It also has the last analog channel on satellite, which is C-SPAN. And I've done a video about that in the past where I connected an old MACOM uh, analog satellite receiver from the 80s. And I'll have a link to that video in the description. So I'll go to a couple of my different satellite receivers and I'll program in it manually just to uh, uh, lock it in. You can also blind scan it. Okay, so I'm in Open ATV, so I'll show you how to do that. Go into Menu, go down to Setup, and then go to Reception. And you can do a blind scan, but I'm just gonna do a sig signal finder. So I'm going to do a search for user-defined transponder. That's where you're entering in all this information here. So I'll just pull up the frequency here. So it's DVB-S for this one. So it's actually a little bit simpler with the settings. So 03820. And you might see the signal come on. And the symbol rate is 28076 is what I got here on this chart. And you don't see anything because it's on vertical. Switch it over to horizontal. And there it is. So I'll do a quick scan. There's AXS TV and HD Net Movies. Just as instantaneously as that. You back out of there. And there it is there. Please check out freesatellitetv.net. And also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. I went and found the new channels here on tvrosat.com. This is 131 West, AMC 11. I'll, I'm just making a verbal comment of that because I always forget the, the actual name of the satellite. I just go by it's 131 West. And when I program it into my, if I have a, like I have a handheld and I have a Sat Hero, I just program 131 C band because a lot of the, if you're gonna buy some of these cheaper satellite uh, receivers, sometimes for the North American satellites you have to just manually enter in the satellite anyway, which is actually not that hard. It just there's an option in in a lot of the satellite receivers just to do that. So it's AXS TV and HDNet movies. So it's on transponder 3820. And I'll show you what it looks like over on Linksat. Same things, same chart here. It's 3820 and I'll say AXS, HDNet movies. Uh, it's the same satellite that the uh, C-SPAN uh, analog feed is, which I've done a video on where it was the last analog feed. And so it's good that, actually I'm glad that there's a few um, digital channels there. So if I wanted to ever um, tune in C-SPAN with the analog receiver. I have a couple of um, digital channels I can also tune here. So maybe I might even hook up the thing, my analog receiver up and just watch some C-SPAN. So I'm doing this on my FreeSat uh, satellite finder. You go to satellite installation. I had it on 99 West there, but I want to go to 131. Hopefully it doesn't trip the uh, u-cells that's one annoying thing with u-cells on these things there now i've done a scan but i couldn't find it we'll exit that all right so yeah i did a scan and i couldn't find it sometimes that will happen with a satellite receiver so i'm going to click on so on this thing it's the back button it's hard to see on the little screen here and i don't think it's entered in 3820 so i'm just going to add a transponder which is the red button on this a lot of the times it has the colored buttons for doing that stuff. 
So zero, so it is 3820, 3820. Now the symbol rate on this, because you don't have to enter all the other information on this receiver, but on the open ATV stuff you do. 22876. 28076. Oops, the seven didn't enter in on this thing. Seven. There you go. Seven six. And its uh, polarity is horizontal, so I'll just leave that. Okay, perfect. There. And it sees the signal. So hopefully I'll scan it in. We go hit the green button or the blue button to scan. There. So it scanned in AX STV and HDNet movies. So there, you see AXS. I glad the things in the front just kind of blocks it. AXS has like a bunch of uh, elderly people playing rock and roll. <laughs> and there's HDNet movies. And I'm getting the read level on my um, Freesat receiver. This is like a $40 uh, handheld uh, satellite finder that you're seeing here. That is, uh, it's not the most sensitive tuner in the world. I don't necessarily recommend this for tuning a satellite, but I like having all of my satellites programmed in here. So if I'm uh, adjusting my dish, adjusting the LMB, I have a, a secondary receiver to try out. So I'm gonna enter it in on the Sat Hero now. Now I'm gonna try to blind scan it with the Sat Hero. So I'm on 131 West. You can see some of the transponders here. When you're locking on with a satellite meter, you can always change the transponder. There, that one's coming in really good. Now, I don't want to, you know, sit around and manually enter it, so I'm going to go. Now, on the Sat Hero, there's an uh, option here for um, an antenna setting for blind scan, transponder, a super blind scan satellite. So I'm going to click on blind scan. Do an F sort for search. It's gonna go through all of the available transponders and do a scan. Okay. So there, it uh, about I don't know forty percent. It found the channels I'm looking for. It also found some encrypted channels. I guess it didn't block uh, the encrypted channels to come through, which is fine. I actually just want them on my uh, satellite finder, just so I for the satellite finder I can use those uh, transponders to help lock and to tune a satellite dish and that's what i was setting up my my uh, satellite meter for and when it comes to an end you just ask it asks you if you want to save you say okay it says saving and i should see that transponder it's off frequency by a bit i can see because i wanted to get programmed in uh, 3820 and it's like 3821 that can happen at times so I'll just back out of this so I see these channels here but that probably won't come in I don't know let's just double check so if it's scrap uh, encrypted is probably the more better turn um, to use for satellite it will say on this, um, the Sat Hero, it will actually tell you what type of encryption it is, if it's Power View or if it's DigiCypher. So there's um, AXS that's on the same transponder as. And if you ever get that uh, beeping sound on one of these sad heroes, just hit the uh, F2 button to uh, mute it so you don't get that annoying beep while you're uh, searching for a satellite. So here's the signal quality. This is the settings that I have on my sat hero. I do see that it is off frequency by a bit. Sometimes that will happen when you're doing a blind scan. It will just sort of lock maybe the wrong frequency. Now you can manually enter the frequency in and have it uh, where you want it. It might be more, you might get a better lock on the transponder if you do that by the charts as well. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just do a blind scan. Are you surfing the internet or using a VPN? It's great for when you're streaming videos and you want to get content that is not available in your country. Use a VPN. Check out the link in the description of this video to get ExpressVPN. It will help the growth of this channel by supporting us if you go through the link to get ExpressVPN.
And if this type of stuff interests you, check out the free satellite TV for North American channels, plus over the air, plus streaming group over at Facebook. And I'm pretty sure you'll find some interesting people to talk to about antennas, satellite dishes, and all sorts of really cool stuff. And be sure to come to my YouTube channel and subscribe and follow me on all these social media platforms. I'm on Twitter. I'm on PayPal Donate. I'm on, I have a shop for my, for satellite stuff. I'm on Mines. You can find my email address, my Patreon account, and my Robbie Strikes Videos Facebook account, which is at RobbieStrike.com. Also, remember to click on the videos tab and follow me there and check out all my latest videos. And also, if you haven't seen some of my great videos that I've already made, check them out over at the Robbie Strike YouTube channel.